Bobby, let's finish up, buddy. Um, you and I, we've known each other for, for, for years. What advice would you give somebody that's thinking about getting into small business? Because, you know, I, I don't know if you agree with me on this, but I bet you will. Small business has changed, man. I mean, what it used to be, it's a lot more challenging now than it used to be. Talk just a little bit about that. What advice would you give somebody for that? Just really think it out and plan your – your financial plan needs to be in place probably before you start business. That was part of my problem. Right. I always started a business and then thought about getting the money to run that business later, and that has become – that's where I bring in the wife. <laughs> you know, she's always advised, do this, do this, get the money first, and then do it, you know, and – I've always done that backwards, so my thing is just get financial planning before you do it. Well, and and you went through this. Talk a little bit about how you had to go out and find investors and and sort of put a a uh, a group of investors together uh, so that you can expand your business into this uh, estate liquidators. Talk a little bit about uh, um, that process and doing that because it's not an easy thing to do. No, OPM is what I call it. <laughs> Other people's money is very dangerous. <laughs> um, and, and again, my wife has always put me down on that one, doesn't like it. But sometimes you have to use other capital to operate a business. And, you know, that's part of taking a risk. You got to trust yourself and hope for the best and, and the good good news is that a lot of that was because of some success yeah and you exactly needed money to keep mo- keep going keep yeah exactly because your growth grows faster than what you think it should grow well i mean the, the truth is in your business your product really is cash absolutely i mean yeah you, you know what i tell people I, you your wife and i agree and that is that partners are just expensive money i yep. mean that's just the bottom line but unfortunately, sometimes you've got to have that expensive money. That's right. Yeah, and in going outside and finding it is it takes time, and um, you know you got to have a good business plan too. Right. And I never had put one together until the last three or four years, and you put a business plan together, it changes things because you got a record or a track right. that this person can look and see if you're on track. You know? Well, you, you know, because you are <laughs> one one of our uh, small business advisory board members, and and talk about doing some of those things because you're the you're the old school business guy that you know, there was no business plan you know it was hey man i'm gonna open up in the morning and today i'm a business you know talk about how some of these formalized processes have actually really helped you make better decisions well if you're you can look at a business and work it and make sure you're making money but when you look at a financial statement and it tells you where you're making money it makes a world of difference sure. and learning that you know looking at percentages okay am i down here or am i up there why it tells you why real quick i'm, I'm getting it, tears in my yeah, eyes well I thank am. you Joe. you you, did, <laughs> you and wayne have totally helped me with that. and i never had done it you know and if you don't have those percentages that's where it comes from but well well, and, and, and the truth is, what you're talking about is old school used to be, do I got money in the bank? You That's know, because right. if I got money in the bank, things might be okay. The, the problem is you could have more money in the bank, or the fact is you could have money in the bank, but you have liabilities. So not all that's really yours. No. <laughs> yeah. And without the P&L, with the percentages, you really can't figure that out. Yeah. Bobby, uh, do me a favor. If, if, if there's somebody listening that, that's got a... Uh, uh, an estate that they would like someone to come by and talk to about possibly liquidating for them. How can they reach you? Well, you can reach us through the web at uh, memoriesestateliquidators.com or you can give me a call. Uh, our phone number is listed on the website and um, email memoriesestateliquidators at gmail.com. And just remember that it is estate sales too. I emphasize tag sales. Estate sales bring a better uh, market, right. they bring a better value to the customer when you advertise an estate sale instead of a tax What's sale. What's the difference between estate sale and tax sale? There's not much difference. It's just the estate is is brings the prestige to a better quality of product because sometimes the tax sale people think it's a glorified yard sale. Right. It's truly not. An estate sale has good quality antiques, furniture, modern items so that are of, not dollar items. It's kind of the motivation for doing it, right? Yes, is it? it is. Yeah. And Lori's really good at that. <laughs> well, we'll get ready to talk, Lori, in a second. Give, give me your website one more time. MemoriesEstateLiquidators.com. Bobby, thank you, my friend.